Hi guys, we, Jan and Anna from Elsram, we would like to introduce our company. So we are the producer of special electronic parts based on ceramic materials like aluminum oxide on, or aluminum nitride. We really appreciate to be here in Luca. We decided to make the Speedo because we have all of technologies on one place. The second, I don't like measuring of battery voltage before and after race. We really believe we are able to bring something new in the RC market. The main advantages of our technologies are excellent heat transfer from MOSFET transistors out of ESC, the first, the most important. The second, we have enough place for display and we believe we have a revolutionary user interface. Nitrite is intended to use in all types of time scale RC cars in off-road and also in touring cars which are racing now here in Luka. Just now I would like to show you some details about Nitride Speedo. The first top side looks like this. Display, three buttons for easy to use. The bottom side, there is a base material, aluminum nitride, ceramic for excellent heat transfer from MOSFET transistors. The back side of Speedo has five wires, AVG 13, plus, minus, and phases ABC, external capacitor needed, and for connection with your receiver, this standard connector. Size is very compact, comparable with the most and other speedos on the market, and the weight of the speedo with wires is approximately 90 grams. Concerning installation, there are a lot of possibilities, but probably uh, at the beginning, I would suggest this graphic plate you can put everywhere. For high level racing, the Speedo is mounted, mounted directly on the graphic plate using two screws, XB4, or X4 is mounted on the graphic plate as well using two screws and then this graphic plate is mounted using these screws to the chassis. During cooler production we are using dry pressing technology so from the aluminum nitride powder is pressed this part using 30 tons. After that, we are using milling machine for this shape. And here you can see cooler after sintering process by temperature above 1,800 degrees. And what can you find inside of ESC? The advanced ceramic technology. So the end stage for six MOSFET transistors based on aluminum nitride ceramic. The driver plate based on very thick silver layer, approximately 300 microns. The end stage with drivers looks like this. And for control, you need some control board with microcontroller unit, 32 bits. And the last step is played with the display and three buttons. The control of Speedo is very easy. There's a middle button for start. And then you can see everything what you need before the race. Like a voltage of battery, motor temperature, ESC temperature and if everything is okay, for example, sensor cable, or you can see here on the display some timing, turbo timing, boost timing. If you want to 
set something, you can easily set these two buttons and you are in setting one. Here you can set throttle, brake, everything what you need, boost timing, turbo timing, whole angle, maintenance, protection, RX, uh, RX calibration and more. Zero timing and blinking mode are supported and we are EFRA and RAR approved. We have post-race data evaluation. It means if you go to this screen after the race, the data will be shown about motor temperature, ESC temperature and RPM. We hope you enjoyed this introduction and uh, you will have much fun playing with your ESP and maybe we will see each other at some racetrack in future. And are you ready for future? <laughs>